What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Today's video is uh, going to be talking about how to create an offensive scheme in Madden NFL 18. And the one thing that I want to stress with creating an offensive scheme is that you don't want to overcomplicate the game. Uh, I find that that is the biggest mistake here. I'm going to make a statement here, and I really, really, I very much so believe in this. Uh, and I think that this, if you look at other areas in your life, you'll find this to be very accurate. It's not necessarily about what you need to put in. It's normally about what you need to take out of your scheme. Okay, so what will happen, here's what will happen, guys. You'll log on, you'll you'll get the new Madden, you'll get Madden 18, because we're in Madden 17 right now. I want to just kind of show you, use it as a training tool. And and you'll you'll say go split you'll go to the split close and you'll look and you'll and you'll do some of the techniques I'm recommended in this video. And you'll you'll find that, oh man, this wide trail play is really cool, it's really unique. It's and I, it's really, really unique is what a lot of people will say. That's what gets a lot of people in trouble. So they'll go to the wide trail and then they'll just kind of lab it and they'll be like, oh, you know what I can do with this is, you know, maybe down in the red zone, I can high point pass to Jason Witten all day. And, and, and anyway, so they'll find that play. But the problem, the problem is that there's nothing that they could do. And then I'm, I know there's other plays, but what they do is they find that play and then they, they just kind of go into an online game and they don't have any counter. They, they don't have any play that can work off of that. And then what they'll do is they'll go to another formation. So they'll, they'll maybe be feeling like, oh, I want to find a new play. So they'll go to they'll go to gun doubles and they'll use the same principles that I teach uh, about how to find it, how to find a good play. And they say, oh, well, corner strike, man, that's that's a really good play. So I'm going to set my play up and I'm going to do all these different hot routes. And and then next thing you know, oh, man, look at this. This C route is so dominant. They can't stop that no matter what. And they'll run this play over and over again. But the problem is then they're going to log online, and now they have two plays. They have the they have the wide, the wide trail, and then they have the uh, the play that we just showed you from the doubles. But the problem is um, that those plays don't work off of one another whatsoever. They're from different formations. They attack completely different areas of the field. It's not even the same player. Like There's no systematic reason for them to call the gun doubles play. And this is a problem that I actually struggled with a lot when I was playing Madden 13. I was playing a lot, and I played so much that the game became, in, a, in essence, I was bored. I was bored, and the problem was I wanted to find a new play, thinking the new play would be fun because it's new, uh, not because it would be better. So new is not always better. Now, that is not to say that new is not always needed. I believe it's always good to go in and lab and find new plays, but I believe you should have a filter before you put it into your scheme. So to do that, I want to show you the gun bunch. So this is the formation that I've ran uh, pretty much all season. It's good every season. They said that they're going to nerf it in Madden 18. I highly doubt that this formation will be that much that, that I think it will. I honestly do. I think it will still be very good. But I ran the gun bunch. I flipped it. Okay. And that was just because I, I, I heard S. Gibbs say to flip it, and I've just done that for a very long time, and so I just kept it that way. So I went to Bunch, and I said, okay, well, I normally like to run the PA post. What play can I run that works off of the PA post very well? And if you scroll through, you'll find the Z spot works very well off of it, um, especially with some different hot routes. Instead of breaking to the inside, they're now breaking to the outside. Okay? So anyways, the reason I'm saying that is because I also know in my quick audibles that the PA post is a quick audible. So if I come out in Z-spot every time, I now have the critical plays I need to be successful. So I have my Z-spot. I go to, you know, I have my PA post. So here's, here's what I've done. In essence, I've taken the field and I've broken it down into zones and I've tried to figure out how do I attack the defense in such a way that it makes it consistent. Because here's the problem. When you, when you run too many formations, when you run too many plays, it overwhelms your brain in the middle of a game and you're, it makes it very difficult to read the defense. It truly does. Um, if your offense is the same every time, then that way, that way you're controlling the variable. So if you have two variables, it's very difficult to control what happens to both. 
But however, if you if you take one of the variables out and you only focus on one thing, so like for when I go into a game, guys, I don't even think about my plays. The only thing I focus on is what the defense is doing, and that way I can then learn and get tendencies, get data. The reason I'm saying all that is is here here's what I really wanted to here here is the principle. So you go into a formation. This is how you find a play. People have talked about this several times. You go into a formation. I recommend the defense to come out in as nickel, and I recommend to come out in a cover four. That's the defense you want to practice against. Um, so then you find you find a, a formation. So say you want to work on, say you like the split close, and you just kind of want to work with that. Okay. So you go to split close. You look through, and you, you try to find what, what I recommend is you try to find one play that has a post route and one play that has – uh, a, you know, some type of a quarter route from the person that ran the post route. Okay, so so it has to be the, from that person because you want to change the routes. So we're looking through halfback wheel looks like a really good play, really really powerful, and then close corner looks like to be that play that we could use to work off of halfback wheel. Okay, it looks very simple uh, to me. So so we'll come out in close corner because we know halfback wheel is a quick audible. So we come out in close corner. And what we do is we don't actually play against the cover four. We go to cover two man, and then we man align and press. That's how we look at this. So now uh, what, we're, what we're trying to figure out, what I'm thinking I can do is motion Williams to the right and then snap it, and he's going to be a really good man beater. And as you can see, he does. He does just fine at beating man-to-man -man coverage. Very simple, very smooth, very easy to beat. So then we, we, we know we have someone on this play that beats man-to-man. -man. Now the question, especially with – Lately, with you know Madden's of late, is does it beat zone coverage? So we'll do the same thing, motion him out, and we look at the, all the routes on the field, and we see that you know cover two does do a really good job at beating it. However, um, you know what about cover three? Because it can beat cover three, okay? If it can beat cover three, then that now opens the world of possibilities up. It becomes very similar to Z spot, as you see that corner route. Uh, I threw it, I threw it a little late, or threw it a little early there. I got a little excited. If you, if you run your corner routes correctly, the corner routes can do a really good job at beating cover three this year. If you wait for them to get to the sideline, it, it's going to be a more of a possession catch. It's, in my opinion, it's very effective. Okay, so And that's what you want to do. You want to figure out what works for your Madden, just like we talked about in the defensive video. Different things work every year, but in my opinion, corner routes and post routes are normally the go-to um, for, for what you want to do, Okay, for, for, for the way you want to play the game. And then what I would what I would do with this play probably is I might I might put Beasley on just a straight streak or something like this, and run a run a, a you know a very good zone beating combination little flood combo right there and behind it. But the re, you know the reason so then so then we look at halfback will. So now it's completely different. Uh, when we motion Williams out now, what what we're gonna do is we're gonna put him on a on a slant route to come over the middle of the field. And then we're probably, uh, most people really like this route to Witten. In my opinion, it just kind of gets in my, in the way. So, so what I'm going to do with him is I'm just going to place him on an in pattern. Uh, and the reason is because I think it just does a really good job with the play itself. So we're going to look to the left first and try to hit Zeke out of the backfield. And then we'll, uh, and then you just kind of continue to work it. So that's kind of what you do. And you, you try it against all different things. You test it. You test different routes. You test it. It's just, it, it really is, in my opinion, it's sim very similar to the defensive video. It's just testing. It's experimenting, testing, finding what works, what doesn't work. And you just kind of get creative with it. And But what you want to do is that you always want to return to your system and your template. And your template says that there are really two types of plays you want to focus on. You want to focus on finding a good power play, okay? So for this, that would probably be halfback wheel, okay? That's a very good power play. We're going to run this probably 80% of the time when we run the scheme. We're going to run this very, very consistently whenever we run, whenever we run this, this formation. Then you want to find that counter play that you can run about 15% of the time, and that for me is this close corner play. I can, I can mix this in, okay? And it's going to really complement what I'm doing from my power play, and then, then you want to find the last 5% is constraint theory plays, which is like running plays. In my opinion, all runs, for the most part, unless they're just dominant. When you're playing Madden, um, 
running the ball is not always the most effective way. Just because it's uh, of the way the game plays, normally the run game is not as good as the pass game, especially the deeper you get uh, in the skill level against the opponents you play. But so you check your run, and then you know maybe you maybe you have a little play action pass uh, with a little 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 quick pass or something like that. So that's what I call constraint theory plays. And then you want to test it against pressure, test it against coverage defenses, all of those things. But it goes back to testing, testing your plays finding what works and what doesn't work. And the only way you can find out what works and what doesn't work is by throwing a lot of stuff on the wall and seeing what sticks. So you want to try slant routes. You want to try out routes. You want to you want to go through your route tree and just try to figure out every single route. What works against this, what doesn't work, what works against man coverage, what works against zone coverage. You, you just kind of experiment for a while, and eventually you pick up on things that will stick and that will not stick. I will tell you, however... That what you want to look for, this is why I say you want to look for something that has something like a corner route or a post route in your play. You always want to have a corner or a post, in my opinion. At least in men's 16 or 17, I guarantee that will be exactly the same in men's 18. I don't see it changing that much. So, anyways, finding those, those are kind of the rules. But what I want to do is tell you once again, when you're creating an offensive scheme in Madden 18, the biggest thing that you're going to have to worry about is is not adding in a lot of plays. You'll find a lot of good plays. I guarantee you, you'll find a good play. The problem is don't overwhelm your offense. Every For every play you add, you need to take away two plays. Okay, Every play you add, you need to take away two plays that you already probably run. You want to get it down, and tr- I try to have about five offensive plays. About five offensive plays, and I think that works very, very well. So, anyways, guys, wanted to share this with you. Let me know what you think. And also, if you like this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you can get updated when future videos go live. Thanks for your time.